Hey everyone, Karant here welcoming you back to Final Fantasy Tactics. In the last episode, we headed into the Yu-Gi-Oh! Woods and had a pretty quick battle against a bunch of ghosts. In this episode, we're going to head into Riavana's castle to begin the end of Chapter 3. Before doing so though, I will note, obviously have all your characters ready, bring all of your characters in from propositions if you have them out, make sure all of your JP and such is good to go, and there are some items that you should make sure you have going in. For instance, have a chameleon robe for Ramza. Main reason is because a chameleon robe absorbs holy attacks. This will come in handy in the second of the three battles that you have. Another thing that you should bring with you are five jade armlets. They are $10,000 a pop, so they're not cheap, but they cancel petrify and stop. They will be useful in the second battle for everybody as well, so definitely make sure to bring those along. Then also, of course, to make sure your items are pretty well stocked up, as mine basically are, and make sure that your characters are equipped as good as they can be, which, in effect, they pretty much are. And with that, that's really about all I would advise, so let's go ahead and head into Riavana's castle, where we find ourselves at the gate, and we have a couple of scenes that we're going to be watching before the battle starts, so let's go ahead and take a look at them. Welcome. How do you like our castle? It looks a bit spartan compared to Lasalia Castle, but I like it. This castle's built for war. It's far more beautiful than one built for government. Ivalice has always been ruled by men with power. This war proved the royal family lost the power. Get to the point. You're being impatient. To be quite frank, can we work together? What do you mean? As I said, men with power rule Ivalice. So, who has the power? Prince Larg of Hokuten? Or Prince Goltana of Nanten? Neither of them. It's you, Shrine Knights, who hold the stones. Holy stones have great magical power. According to ancient legend, a natural disaster in Muron was caused by its power. <laughs> well, excuse me. I didn't expect a grand duke like yourself to believe in such fairy tales. So you're saying you don't believe it? That's strange. They say Draclaw of Lionel died from problems with the stone. I heard he died of illness. Then why are you after the youngest Beelve? Why chase him as a heretic? We don't question decisions by heresy examiners. Oh my, you're saying you know nothing about it? But you may change your mind after seeing this. Call Malik. F father I'm sorry. I see. We have Scorpio and Taurus. Moron! Excuse me, sir. We verified the intruder's identity. Malik, I'll let you take care of him. What do you want? As I said before, we want to help you, too. What if I refuse? The church's injustice will be exposed, that's all. You can't prove it just with the holy stones. Exactly, but how about with the Germanic scriptures? Larg, Goltana, and the Synod ought to be interested. Where is it? I can't tell you. Wygriff, go after the wizard. I'll take care of here. Don't do anything funny. The odds are against you. Odds? What do you think you weak humans can do? Father? Don't underestimate us. Killing you is easy. Are you opposing me? Thank you. 
Wanna fight? Fine. I'll show you the power of the Holy Stone. And of course, with this we get a save screen. I am going to use save states, given that I'm still running my other file. But of course, I urge you to save before you go into this battle. Keep it separate from your other save file, though, that is outside this. Just in case the levels aren't good enough, just in case you need to get other jobs or other items and such things, then obviously that will be at the ready. Okay, now for this battle, we get split up again, so yay! What I'm going to do with this is I am probably going to go ahead... Let's see, I've got a little bit of a tough choice, actually, because I want to include Agrius over here with my crew, or with uh, Ramza anyway. Now, over on the other side, I've got a toughie here because I want Mustadio here. That's a definite. Now, the question is between Timothy, Tabitha, and Monica. Uh, what I will likely do, actually, is... Tabitha's probably going to go in because she's got Blade Grasp, so she'll be nigh untouchable in a lot of ways. Uh, then, I think for my other one, actually, I am going to go ahead and stress physical damage. Because, obviously, I've got Mustadio here if I need healing, so I'm going to go ahead and just pretty much bum rush this. So, I'm going to go ahead and put Timothy in, and we should be good to go. Welcome to battle number 30 at the gate of Riovanis Castle. Malik, please stop. Let's go together. You know what happens to traitors. You'll be chased by your ex-allies and killed. Even if you escape, you'll live your life frightened. I never want to live like that. The Grand Duke promised to free us after this job. Do you believe him? You know he's lying. If we don't escape now, we'll be as slaves for life. I trust him. We'll be free if we kill him and take the Dramonic Scriptures. And so, we get ourselves a battle with the objective? Kill them all. Not just Malik. Kill them all. Now, this battle actually really doesn't focus around Malik all that much. Even if you don't kill him soon enough, I think after a, a handful of turns, he'll go away anyway. Where's Alma? I can see you're worried about her. Just hand me the Germanic scriptures and I'll save you. Ramza, don't believe him. Barrington will kill both of you once he gets what he wants. Whatever you do, don't give the scriptures to him. Your sister will be safe only as long as you have the book. Yeah, well, we weren't going to trust Malik anyway. So, uh, let's go ahead and head up here, and I don't think I'll be able to slash you into submission. Uh, jumping wouldn't be the best idea either, not at the moment. But it is good to keep in mind, you can jump after these archers too, and it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world to do so. Actually, as a matter of fact, let's see, how much HP do these guys have, and when are they acting? Uh, too soon, okay. Alright, well, my best recourse actually is to go ahead and walk up to you. And not jump at you, but attack you. Ooh, 56%, that's not very good. Okay, the chances of that happening was, well, both at once was about 4 and 25, so about 16%. Yay! Thanks, guys. Now, something you might notice as you pan the camera, yeah, there's a knight hiding down there, so be careful about that. He has levitate, obviously, because otherwise he'd be drowning, so you want to make sure that you do not, basically, that you don't forget about him. But I think I'm going to go ahead and charge forward with at least my ninja here. And go ahead and start tossing things. There we go. Uh, is water going to do any more? Or ice, basically? No? Okay, so no real difference there. Go ahead and toss this at you. What I might end up doing with Timothy, since he has Concentrate, I might just go ahead and send him up to the walls and have him take out the archers. 
And in doing so, that will remove a lot of our problems pretty quickly. Okay, Rafa's going to do her own thing, and that is, right now, a grand total of nothing. <laughs> no surprise there. Malik might actually... Interesting! I'm a little surprised he's heading that direction. Usually he heads straight down at Rafa, but oh well. Now the archers, like I mentioned, they're going to make life a little bit difficult uh, if you let them. So just don't let them, if you can. Okay, I'm not too concerned about you going after Rafa. Because once Malik leaves the battlefield, so too will Rafa, so I'm not too concerned. Although, the fact that they're hitting with 56% does concern me. Because it means the numbers hate me again. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, you've got monk attacks! Interesting! I'm gonna have to take you a little bit more seriously then, naughty boy. Alright, you are gonna walk around and probably hit Rams aside. Yeah, that's no surprise. Uh, okay. Alright, great times. Alright, now this one's gonna come out of the shadows, but he's not gonna be able to do too much right now. But he's gonna point himself at those guys, okay. Alright, so what I wanna do with you, with Agrius, not Stasis Sword, do Holy Explosion, please. Uh, let's see, how much damage is that gonna do? A little bit, not great, but it'll do okay. Unfortunately, did not confuse him, but... Eh, oh well. Okay, now... You're not going to be able to hit... You might actually be able to hit. Uh, let's try it. If draw out does work, great. If not, then well, yeah. Let's see. Uh, that's slow. This is going to be healing, so I don't really need that right now. That's MP damage, and that's not going to hit anything. Shoot. Well, it's worth a shot anyway. I find it interesting, though that the effect you can get in water is quicksand. I, I, I've always... I don't know, I've never been able to figure that one out, honestly. Okay, let's take you out here, or see if I can snipe you before... Oh god, that's awful. I was gonna say, let's snipe you before you start going crazy here. I might need to get Concentrate for Mustadio now that I think about it. Okay... Oh, alright, Asura back! Which instantly hits him. Okay, so it actually did him some good. Go figure. Okay, well, that actually did alright for a change. And the fact that 56% keeps hitting concerns me a little bit. What you're saying is right. No use escaping. Let bygones be bygones. And off she goes. And of course, Malik will follow her. Wait, Rafa, what are you doing? Oh, sorry, I forgot the accent for him, my bad. Okay, with that then, I can go up and start hacking and slashing at people. <laughs> this might actually be the best move, really, for him. Again, ignore height for the win. That will not kill you. That will not kill you. That's a little distressing, actually. But it will at least take you out of consideration as far as being able to attack him immediately. Uh, okay. Oh, I can do this, actually, now that I think about it. I can throw something at you and kill you. Haha. Alright, fireball. There we go. Good, that'll do it. And once I get these archers taken out, the battle's gonna become a good bit easier. Okay, now this knight is gonna be able to flank my samurai. Yeah, I kinda figured as much. I might... Ha <laughs> ha! I was about to say, I might want to withdraw the samurai, but no, at this rate, I don't really want to. Okay, lightning stab, please! And then I want to see about getting everybody out of... Oh, that's a useless silence. I want to see about getting them out of range, because if I start moving this way, at least that knight will be out of consideration. And you're going to shoot Agrius. Yeah, that's no surprise. Is it actually going to hit, though? That's the thing. You are going to hit Ramza. Okay, that's a smart move. Particularly since Ramza's a little weaker. Alright, now you're going to go after my samurai, I think. Oh, you're just gonna Earth Slash, okay. That's not the worst idea either, although it's not doing that much damage. It does mean, though, that you don't have to worry about getting smacked in the back by me, so there is that. Okay. Alright, well, I'm going to come to you anyway. Well, no, I'm not. Let me draw out here. Okay, there we go. That didn't do too bad. And I think I want to move you back over here, because 
I've got the advantage of mobility, and these guys don't particularly. There we go. Okay, so, uh, we're in fairly good shape right now, I think. Uh, let's see, good. Rams has got next turn, and you can probably take this archer out immediately, actually. Because, well, she's charging, so she takes more damage, and thus, two swords kills her. <laughs> okay, good, so that's out of the way. Uh, I want to turn to pivot and avoid getting, no, avoid getting shot in the back. Let's see, you... Let's see, let's go ahead and throw a lightning ball, because I've got more of them than anything else. There we go. Okay, so I think Ramza will be able to take this, take the archer out this next turn, so I'm probably going to send Timothy down to go after the other one. Alright, now, let's see, Agrius, I want to actually, let's see, yeah, I think, yeah, I want to send Agrius over this way, so that she can back up these two. Uh, she's not going to be able to do anything this turn, but next turn she should be able to. Oh, and you're just going to... Okay, that was an interesting choice. I'm sitting there going, wait a minute, what are you doing? Well, that answered that. Now, are you going to... Oh, okay, you are going to Earth Slash. Well, alright, just keep on going with that tech. That's fine with me. Uh, you're going to move up and try to go after Rams, I believe. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so, Samurai... I'm going to run you out here and see... Uh, those swords really don't do that much damage. It's kind of sad, actually. Okay. Uh, do another Asura, and then probably next turn I need to retreat back and do a Murasame to get some... basically get some healing. Or I could just toss an item at you. Uh, I don't want to do that right now, though. I want to take this knight out. Yep, that'll do it. Sweet. Okay, good. Uh, let's move you over here, just so you can get another piece of the action, I suppose. Now, Ramza, you... Uh, let's see, you should be able to hit him, actually, so, might as well. I don't know why he guarded against the other direction, though, it's kind of weird. Because, it does no good. Now you, well, since she was so polite as to pretty much walk right up to you, might as well. Let's go ahead and stick a sword in her back. Yeah, there we go, good. Okay, now, Agrius is next, and she's still not going to be able to do much of anything, is she? Uh, no, not with the Samurai in the way, certainly. Because, if I try Holy Explosion, it's going to hit my Samurai, too. And, obviously, that's bad. Uh, in fact, it's not even going to be able to hit the Knight, okay. But what I did do is actually, now that I think about it, just lined him up for an Earth Slash attack on both of them. So, let's go ahead and throw something at you and see if we can mitigate that a little bit. Uh, that is... Why is that not going to hit? Okay, I guess line of sight, but still. Uh, can I... No, that's not going to work either. Oh, well. Uh, can you... Well, you're not going to be able to get over there that quickly. Eh, food. Alright, so you got one more Earth Slash in you, I think. Then we're pretty much going to slaughter you between the four of us. Well, that critted. Not that it does you any good. Because... And you turned your back on me. All right, fine then. Uh, let's see. Actually, let me go ahead and do a Murasame to get some healing in. Not that it's overly necessary, but it's a good way to use the turn aside from just straight out attack. Okay, yep, that's it. Then Mustadio, since he turned his back to you, just shoot him. Okay, and then, well, Agrius, you can walk up here and either do Lightning Stab or Holy Explosion. I think either would hit right now, actually. Uh, yeah, that'll work. And then that's pretty much it for the battle, with one last blow, and a Confusion proc just to taunt me a little bit. Eh, well, alright. Ramza, you can poke a stick in his back and end this. Well, doubly so, I guess. Uh-oh, that's no good. Rafa, Alma, please be safe.
And with that, we win battle number 30. And for our prize, get 22,000 gil, so the money's going up. On top of an elf mantle, a high potion, and an X potion. So, really good items all around. Brother. What? Yeah, everything's kind of going crazy in there. What an awful wound! Ugh, oh, help. That monster. C come on! Run. It's dangerous. Alrighty, so as I mentioned, I'm going to be doing safe states, so let's go ahead and skip out of here and come to the formation screen once it loads up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright, so as I mentioned, with this battle, what you want to do, and I will go ahead and show it being done, I guess, is go ahead and put jade armlets on everybody that you want to bring into the battlefield. And I will emphasize in this battle, you will want to go for damage. You will want to go for quick, dirty fighting on this one. Don't worry even particularly about anybody that can take a long time to do any attacks, no bad idea. You will want to deal out damage quickly and without prejudice. Uh, another thing you need to do is, as I mentioned earlier, go ahead and equip... Let's see, where is it? There we go. Uh, that chameleon robe. Uh, let's see, why can't I equip it? Okay, I'll need to change class actually to do this. Alright, well... What I'm going to do then is, let's see, I actually, since Ramza can't equip it as a ninja, I guess I'll be changing his job for this battle. I didn't realize that would happen. Uh, let me switch him back to a Lancer then. And you do notice he has a lot of HP. Now that is about to be mitigated a lot by the fact that I'm switching his armor. But this is a good thing to do because, as I mentioned, it mitigates holy attacks. This is important to the strategy that we're going to be using for this battle. Another thing I will also mention with this is you will want to put Squire abilities on if you're going to use the strategy that I'm going to be using. Let's see, what do I want to do? Um, unfortunately, I don't have two swords for my ninja, so I can't put two lances on Ramza, sadly. But hopefully this will do well enough. Uh, it will basically... It will, unfortunately, counteract the strategy that I was going to use with this. But the fact that I have Jump should be good enough, and yeah, uh, actually, now that I think about it, ignore height's not really necessary. Let's put that on. Okay, so that is going to be the strategy that I'm going to enact for this battle, and next time on Final Fantasy Tactics, we will continue further on into Riavana's Castle and face what is, in many ways, one of the most daunting battles in this game. So, thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see y'all later.